Hi, and welcome to the video portion of the fourth stop on the Entangled Vlog Tour. Thank you for sticking with us. If you have missed the other installations so far, we had one on the Compulsive Reader, one on Forever Young Adult, one on Novel Novice, and today we're here at Presenting Lenore. And we're talking about science! So we're gonna do some nerdy stuff while we read. Corey McCarthy, why author extraordinaire, is here to help us today. She's the author of the forthcoming Break of the Sky. You put that on your list. Um, and we're just going to read a little bit. Kate is learning about quantum entanglement here, so we can all learn about it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Corey's gonna help us with, with visuals. Okay, here we go. You don't have to draw the part, the, the beginning with the babies, unless you want oh. to draw babies. Draw babies. <laughs> okay. The two babies sprawled in a new room, whiter if possible than the last one. Cadence and Zan took well to the process. After a brief period of confusion and rest, the two began to bond at an intense level thought, long thought access, inaccessible to the human species. <laughs> one baby. <laughs> oh no, you can't see it. There oh, get the baby right up there so they can see it. It's important. Cade felt the prickle of something in her chest. Pride. Not that she had earned it. All she had done was be a baby, bred for a certain purpose. <laughs> It was the same feeling she had to dismiss all the time when she smashed through a new song or splayed her fingers into an unreachable chord. She wasn't a good musician. It was just a response to the noise, a necessary knee-jerk, and those babies were just a bundle of instincts and genes. Cadence and Zan are a wonderful pair, the not Niven said, perfectly entangled. Entangled, Kate asked again. Shh, Mr. Niven said. Cade was one, was one curled knuckle away from sending him to the floor, but Mr. Niven had answers, and Cade was only starting to slam together the questions. So she let him stay on his feet, for now. The picture on the wall changed to a diagram of bouncing circles, chalk white on black. When we entangle two particles on a quantum level, they are no longer bound to the physics that restrict human action. The two circles flowed together, down a narrow stream, and parted, now picked out in blue to show they were different from the rest. You keep it up? How are you doing mm -hmm. there? <laughs> Entangled particles react to each other, balance each other, and transmit impulses faster than the speed of light. One circle spun counterclockwise. Less than a blink later, the other circle spun. Oh, one circle spun clockwise. I said that wrong. Less than a blink later, the other circle spun counter. Entanglement is an ancient fact known to humans for over a millennium, but applications have been limited. Certainly, prior to these trials, no one has attempted to entangle two humans on the quantum level. Back to babies. They were older now. Kate could tell by the full heads of hair, sprouting bottom teeth. It hurt to look at that little girl and see how different she was from the mostly grown version. How happy. Okay, now we have to see what happened. Now I need to see what happened on this page. Okay, so there's two babies. One, These are two particles that were happy. entangled. Right. Oh, then that's they good. were separated. Yep. And yep. then one, one spins, spins this way. One spins counterclockwise. And this one can feel it clockwise. all the way across yes. the universe. Even though this one They're separated. is an Earth and this one is, in t is on Tatooine. So. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Entanglement, you guys. In one short, beautiful diagram. All right, thank you for joining. <laughs> oh, this is Zan. And this is Zan who's crying. Oh, right. by the way, yeah, Zan's. Zan Kate is really too unhappy. cool to cry. Kate's so. an awesome baby. Yeah. Um. And thank you for joining us today. You should join us tomorrow at the VCFA Launchpad, where we will talk. <gasps> be talking about universe building. Yes. So thank you.